Hi everybody, good morning. Uh, today's video I'm going to show you how to do some image editing with pixeldatabase.net. This is a preview of my little shoe store I'm building called the Shoe Cobbler. But I just wanted to, when I walk in, I was wanted to have the person kind of stand there and a little robot voice say, you know, stand here and guide him into this. Let me show you this little image I bought. I bought this little uh, shoe store. This is deposit photos. I have no affiliation with them and I don't get paid for this, but I buy a hundred images at a time from them for either a hundred dollars sometimes or they had a sale around Christmas for eighty dollars. So for a dollar I, I buy images usually or less than a dollar sometimes. Okay, I'll just go ahead and get started. Just wanted to show you what, I, what I'm doing. If you happen to want to follow along, you can buy that image if you want to if you want but I'm gonna just go to uh, I can't give it to you or I would but I'm gonna just select this image in my website give that just a second to load okay now the first thing I was playing around here before I started recording the first thing I want to do is go ahead and erase the white background and to do that I'm just gonna type this and just to turn the color picker on it was already on but the total is 765, which is just the sum of red, green, and blue. But I'll go ahead and hide the color picker. We don't need it for the second. Okay, so our white background is gone. Now the next thing I want to do, we'll go ahead and turn the color picker back on. We're going to do another hide. And I'm going to click about right here. And I'm going to just say Y greater than and click there and then hit apply. That got rid of the chart for us, or the little shoe size chart text. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this writing. And this is the part I thought was neat, and I decided to start recording. Maybe you'll think it's neat. Let me know. I'm going to just say uh, hide blue min diff greater than 20. And what that means is, like if I click right here, blue is too. Uh, that's an alpha. Let me find one of the ones that's not. There we go. Blue is 251, and the minimum is zero, so the minimum is quite above 20. But we're just going to go ahead and hit apply. And that gets rid of all the text. Now, it left us a little kind of a like an alignment line, but that's fine for our purpose for my video. And the next thing I want to do is kind of increase the color here so you can see that a little bit better. And I'm just going to say update, set adjust all, and I'll say about 75. Okay, and now you can read the text of the word heel a little better. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of color because I don't want it to be just gray. On a, That's a pretty uh, dark background, so you wouldn't be able to see it. So I'm going to make it quite a bit red. So I'm going to just say set adjust red, 150. Okay, and that gets us kind of a red, not really neon-y, but it's kind of, it'll show up pretty, I think it'll look pretty bright. I'm not going to make you sit and watch me size in an iClone, but you'll, I'm going to go ahead and do now one more thing. I'm not sure if I want red or blue, so I'm going to go ahead and do another one in blue just to, it's pretty easy to do. So I'll just create me a blue one, and I... That's a good blue. I was thinking I might want it to be a little bit more blue. I'm going to go just a little bit more. I'll say set adjust blue 50. See if I like that more. Okay, that's fine. Not sure if it changed any or not, but. Okay, and we'll just call this a shoe chart blue. That's fine. All right, and I didn't download my red one. I just realized, so we'll swap it back. Doesn't there? Okay. So let me save this before I forget, and we'll call this one shoe chart red. Okay, and that was my short little video. Let me know if you find that useful. I think it's worth the price of free at least. All right, thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.